Hey again everyone, Chris Wenstrom here at a Marine Max in Pompano Beach. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really cool boat. This is the Aviara 32. Aviara is actually the large boat division of Mastercraft. So, wonderful name in the industry, now into their large boat division in the Aviara luxury day boat category. Exclusive to us here at a Marine Max, and today we're standing on the 32. So I want to just kind of go through the boat, show you some of the features and benefits, and uh, kind of show you why this would be a great entertaining boat for you and your guests or family to have a great day out on the water together. So we're going to go ahead and start here, working our way aft to the transom. And wanted to show I do have a two-step down into the cockpit, just giving me a little bit added security when we are riding here in the main cockpit. But as we work our way to the aft deck, you see it does give me a little bit better vantage point. I've got great visibility here off of the aft end. All non-skid sea deck flooring throughout the entire boat. And Aviara actually uses a thicker sea deck material. So when you do walk on this, you do feel a little bit more cushion than you would in a regular sea deck material. Nice thing with Aviara, even though I do have outboard power, we are powered by twin 300 Mercury Verado V8s. But with the outboard power, as you can see, I still do have a very walkable transom. I'm at a 10-4 beam, 12,000 pound boat here in the 32, and a great use of space here on the aft end to be able to still let the kids be able to jump off and off the boat if they want, and to accommodate six guests here on the aft seating deck. So as you can see, very unique kind of seating design here with the Aviara. Underneath these three seats, I do have storage that is all finished out fiberglass. I do have my freshwater fill underneath here, as well as a single flush system for the outboard. So I don't need to plug each one of them in individually. I actually have a hookup here underneath of my seats that allows me to flush both motors at the same time. I do have my battery switches under the far port side lounge. Tons of cup holders, as you can see, two, four, six cup holders just here on the transom seating. But what's really cool with Aviar is they decided to, instead of just install a sun pad back here, they actually maximize the usable space by including these backrests that actually ratchet up into place. So these will ratchet into position, all three individually segmented to allow three people to observe whatever's going on on the back of the boat. But they didn't stop there. What they also included is these individual pop-up bar stools. So right in the center, there's a handle allows this backrest to pop up and I can actually use this as an observer seat. So if I do have guests in front of me, I can actually sit back here and see over the top of whoever's heads are in front of me. Or if I am rafted up against some friends on their other boats, I can turn and actually have a conversation face to face with them instead of having to look up at the guests on the boat next to me. So really creative use of space here. What's nice too is in the back of the hard top, I do have an extendable sunshade that will actually come all the way out to these backrests. So an incredible amount of additional shade that you do gain with that retractable sun deck. Here upon entry, there is a convenient place for storage. Small detail, but I really like what Aviara did in being able to accommodate de designated fender storage here on the transom walkthrough as I work my way into the cockpit. Nice turn and lock style latch there. One thing that's also really, really cool is that Aviara gives me a fuel fill point on both gunnels. So I have one on each side, they both feed to the same fuel tank. And just some of the fit and finish detail with Aviara, every single hatch is its own dedicated mold at the factory. So as you can see, it's a two side mold fiberglass, resin injected, and it uh, just shows again the build quality and the details that they use to put these boats together. Beautiful hard top, as you can see, full beam width. I do have speakers installed in the hardtop. RGB lights work their way throughout the boat, but I also do have those in the hardtop as well. A very big wraparound seat. I have storage underneath each compartment. And as you can see, tons of cup holders here recessed in, additional speakers. I do have a subwoofer that's also flush up against the underside of this seat as well. So they're really maximizing the usable space in this boat. And if you've ever looked at Aviari before, I'm sure you've heard about this cool touch vinyl. So the vinyl is actually rigid under a microscopic level. So the UV light actually bounces and moves in opposite directions. So it doesn't hold heat. So in direct sunlight, it'll be noticeably cooler than other fabrics that other manufacturers might use. But again, beautiful fit and finish in these nice grab handles underneath. You can see it matches the silver accents in the hardtop support and some of the framework that they use. You can also do those in black. But with this nice bright gel coat, it does give it a nice bright look with the silver accents as opposed to black. Here on the starboard side is going to be our summer kitchen. This boat was optioned with a storage bin here on top. so a nice place to just to toss some gear into. And then underneath is a very large storage compartment. And as you can see, all nicely finished out fiberglass, rubber deadening material there just to keep that from vibrating. And that latches nicely in place. Here underneath is going to be our 
wet bar. So I do have dedicated bottle storage, a sink, and this entire thing is insulated too, so I wanna just tice, toss ice in here for the day, keep my drinks nice and cool, you're allowed to do that. And a cool kind of unique design there to be able to accommodate some bottle storage there as well. Underneath this counter, I do have a pull-out cooler, and it is removable, so if I wanted to bring this into the house, toss some ice in it for the day, or if we wanted to beach the boat up on a sandbar, pop this cooler out, I can throw it on the beach if we're gonna be partying on the beach that day, and then that tucks away nice and convenient underneath our summer kitchen there. As I mentioned, storage throughout, but just wanted to also note underneath this compartment as well, I have a second carry-on cooler as well, so if we're gonna have a lot of people on the boat that day, or we know we're gonna bring a ton of drinks, you got no shortage of being able to pile as many drinks in this boat as you can with the two coolers as well as the summer kitchen. The table does have its own dedicated storage, but a beautiful teak table here. If we're going to be doing some entertaining or if we wanted to have a meal, we can do that under the, prote the protection of the hardtop, and then that'll also stow underneath of my seats. But again, just I love the just the design in this boat. As you can see, very modern angular lines, a very progressive style boat. It's built right here in Florida, up in Merritt Island. So it's a Florida built boat, even though it has kind of that European look to it. But again, being an American made boat does give you a little bit more attraction to the style and that you do have tremendous dealer support with Marine Max representing Aviara. We'll go ahead and work forward towards the helm. Here taking a look at how they designed this helm, a very innovative design in that I do have all of my electronics flush mounted up against this black dash here. My far left tablet actually controls all the systems on board this boat. So from my stereo to all of my pumps and switches, lights, sunshade, engine compartment, all controlled right here at the left tablet. My center SIMRAD unit is gonna be a multifunction display with my sonar feature, all of my GPS and tracking coordinates, be able to see different tides and be able to kind of see the outline of your channel. Uh, so a nice display there as well. And then the far right display, my other SIMRAD screen is gonna be my vessel view for all of my engine diagnostics. So everything from the motors will relay right up to that screen, be able to see voltage, RPMs, hours, anything that I need that's gonna be coming from the motors right there to the far tablet as well. Nice thing with the Aviar is they do give me a double wide helm seat. So if I do have my spouse that wanted to sit next to me while we were riding, you do have individual flip up bolsters, which give me a completely different ride height. If I wanted to see a little bit taller and over the windshield, I could. But if I wanted to tuck underneath, flip that bolster down, and now I'm protected underneath the protection of this windshield. But a cool thing they do with all other speakers as well, this is all Clips Audio. But what they do here at the helm is they install these speakers right underneath the glass. So as music's playing, it's bouncing off the glass and coming into the cockpit to really give you one of the loudest sound systems on the water. With the triple, I'm sorry, with the dual 300s, this also does include my joystick. So I do have full joystick control on this boat, digital throttle and shift. So all of the latest technology to be able to make docking and operating this boat as easy as possible. Working our way up to the bow. Big thing with the Aviara as compared to other day boats in class is the amount of freeboard that you maintain as you walk up into the bows. So you, as you can see how high these gunnels are, it gives me a ton of added security, especially if I have little ones on the boat and they want to be able to ride up front. It's nice peace of mind knowing that the bow seating arrangement is extremely deep, allowing your guests to be able to sit up here comfortably and not worry about being exposed to the elements or to potentially be falling out of the boat. So very safe boat for the family, especially doing some open ocean cruises. Nice wraparound bow seat with the fact that I have my walkway, the port side into the bow seating arrangement, it maximizes the amount of usable space up here. I do have cup holders throughout, additional stereo control, and then come take a look at this anchor locker. Really cool thing they did. As I mentioned before, every hatch, every latch on this boat is all its own individual mold. So as you can see, this entire compartment is all finished out fiberglass, not only the lid, but the entire ground tackle compartment as well. So very easy to clean. I do have a freshwater wash down in here as well so I can rinse off my ground tackle. And then this closes off nicely with that gas assist strut, turn and lock latch, and this is all non-skid on top here too. So if it just had to walk up onto the bow, don't have to worry about slipping. So let's go ahead and take a look down in the cabin. The RBR 32 does include a very spacious head compartment. It kind of doubles as a changing room. So even a guy of my size at six foot three can walk down in here comfortably. The door will actually catch on a magnet, a very strong magnet, so it'll keep that open. You don't have to worry about it swinging around. But as you can see, very deep, two big steps down into the head. This is a vacuum flush head with its own holding tank. I do have storage inside as well as uh, an extra mirror so if i wanted to put my makeup on or something like that you've got a place to actually get dressed for dinner 
and uh, you can rinse off down in there as well if you wanted to get cleaned up before we head out to grab a bite to eat. So the Aviara is loaded with features for you and your family. I cannot wait to be able to have the opportunity to show you this boat in person. If you'd like to come by Marine Max and Pompano, look at this in stock Aviara 32. My name is Chris Wenstrom. You can reach me on my cell phone at 727-460-4175. Thank you.